Alright, I posted a video a while ago um, showing how Facebook page was put up two days before this uh, Boston bombings. Uh, like I said in my other video, I don't want to jump on conclusions now, but it does seem, it does seem like this is a, a the false flag. Obama already made a speech on it. Uh, they're, you know, preparing London for the London uh, Marathon, all this stuff. Uh, now, I was just doing a bit more research, and I found this article. Um, so, yeah, I'll read it. University of Mobile's cross-country coach, who was near the finish line of the Boston Marathon, when a series of explosions went off, said he thought it was odd that... There were bomb-sniffing dogs at the start and finish lines. They kept making announcements to the participants, Do not worry, it's just a training exercise, Coach Ali Stevenson told Local 15. Uh, and then it goes on to say, Said he saw law enforcement spotters on the roofs uh, at the start of the race. He's been in a... Plenty of marathons in Chicago, D.C., Chicago, London, and other major m metropolitan areas, but has never seen that level of security before. Evidently, I don't believe they were just having a training exercise, Stevenson said. I think they must have had some sort of threat or suspicion called in. Uh, and that's basically it. But this shows... That just like 9-11, just like the 7-7 bombings, just like Sandy Hook, they had drills before, they had drills before the marathon, before the bombings. The police did. It says right here, uh, eyewitness account. This is coming from uh, NBC Local 15, uh, local Boston channel, clearly. So yeah, just... Not out. Also, bring this to your your guys' attention, because um, you know the seven seven bombings, for instance. The police uh were doing drills of the seven seven bombings. They and then so the police rush to the uh, subway st station, right? And then the bomb went off. They thought it was a drill. The police thought it was a drill. Then the bomb went off. I think the same thing happened here. Same thing happened with Sandy Hook. Uh, that's proven. Same thing happened with 9-11. That's proven. I'll actually, um, leave a link down here so you guys can get more on Sandy Hook 7-7 bombings and 9-11. But, uh, very interesting story that says, you know, they kept making announcements to the participants. Do not worry. It's just a training exercise. Then a bomb goes off. Right, right, right. Yeah, this is, uh, I have to admit, this is looking like a, a false flag. Because, as I said in my North Korea video, they're going to make the seven-year peace agreement, because the Pope's going to Israel in June. And also, Obama had a letter to the Pope, a secret letter, handwritten letter to uh, the Pope. It was delivered by Biden, or it was delivered by Biden. Um... And, you know, why, why are you writing a handwritten letter, Obama? Really, why? In this day and age, you can send an email. You, you don't need a handwritten, hand-delivered message. Hand-delivered by, by Biden. Uh, so there, there's a lot of things going on with North Korea. So they do. They do have the motive to do this false flag attack. So it could be, uh, you know... For Korea, I heard Saudi Arabia, but I don't think they're trying to blame it on Saudi Arabia. I don't see that. One, Saudi Arabia is falling apart. It's going to be destabilized. And two, Saudi Arabia is already U.S. friendly. So, I don't know why that came up. Um, but yeah, I think they're definitely going to try and put it on North Korea somehow. If not, then they're going to put it on Iran. Bottom line. And the war is going to break out in time for the Pope going to Israel in June. I mentioned this in the North Korean video I made. And this, uh, 
this will really just, uh, you know, make it happen faster. Unless we, the truth movement, act on it. But then again, there's not much we can do. We can wake up a few people. This is the reality of it. I hate to say it, but we can wake up a few people every time these events happen. But, you know, the, we, we okay, we, we got to expose it, right? Uh, clearly. But, you know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Inshallah. God's will. Uh, but yeah, this uh, article does prove it, that it has the elements of a false flag. Um, you know, all false flags have the drills and the training exercises because they say, because it's like, oh, well, then if the thing goes wrong, we can say, oh, it was just a drill. You know, all right. They they can just use it like that, and then they have the police there to lock to lock down the place. So yeah, uh, actually, also I'll leave a link to this uh, article so you guys can look at it yourself. But yeah, if you think this message is important and should be viewed by others, please share it. Share it to Facebook. Share it to Twitter. Also, be sure to like and favorite the video. By doing so, it'll rise in listings and have the opportunity to be viewed by others. Help us get the message out to the national and international stage. And also, please subscribe to this channel, The Truth is Full of Lies.